Hey everybody, Sean McInnes and Chris Waters here, and we wanted to give you a little bit of an update on our Battlefield 4 review. Now that each of the next-gen platforms is out, Chris, you finally had a chance to check out the Xbox One version. How does it stack up with PlayStation 4? That's right, Sean. Uh, the embargo lifted. I got to play a bunch of it uh, out in the wild, and it stacks up almost equally with the PlayStation 4, uh, you know, and sort of putting it in that top tier with the PC in sort of the preferred choices for Battlefield 4, of course, the 64-player multiplayer matches being the large driving force. Uh, there are some some places where it doesn't compare so favorably, yep. but uh, and we'll get into that right now, but suffice to say, it's, it's better than the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions. Not quite as good as PS4 and the PC versions, but it's gonna have the same review score, an 8.0, which is a great, because it's a great game. Uh, but the two issues I wanna talk about real quick, Visuals and online connectivity. Yeah, so it's kind of a theme at this point that Xbox One versions of multi-platform games don't quite look as good as the PS4 version. And you, you can notice those things side by side, but it's not a huge difference. That's right. I mean, you're going to, you know, you put these things next to each other, the PS4 version and the Xbox One version, you're going to see that the Xbox One's textures aren't quite as detailed and the color saturation feels a little bit uh, weaker, maybe, and it, it's just not quite as crisp, not mm -hmm. quite as vibrant as its PS4 counterpart. Uh, of course, you know, we could dive into the technical specifications of 720p versus 1080p uh, and, you know, go go further deep into lighting effects, but suffice to say, it's a slightly, you know, if you have both new consoles, go for the PS4, but if you just have the Xbox One, you're going to have a great game, and it's going to look very, very good. Uh, the other issue, of course, and one that's been much talked about lately online, is connectivity issues that people are having with servers. Yeah. Dice games, you know, they, they've had issues in the past around launch windows. Mm -hmm. Battlefield 4 is still, it has some as well. You know, it has been, it is rumored to have them on PS4 and PC as well. I never experienced any of that during the review process and in my subsequent play on retail, but as far as the Xbox One goes, I did experience, over the course of hours and hours of play, a few uh, crashes to desktop, a few dropped connections. Uh, some of that happened while I was matchmaking, others uh, happened while I was in a game, so I lost some progress. Mm -hmm. But while those sort of loom large in my memory of like, oh, didn't it stink the time that I yeah. lost all that experience? The stuff that looms larger is the good experiences I had in these chaotic battlefields because the majority of my time was issue free. Right. I was almost always able to get into a game when I wanted to, of the type that I wanted to. Once it put me in a game where I was the only person, <laughs> I hopped back into quick match and in 30 seconds I was in a populated match playing away. Okay. So, you know, there, there are some considerations, some caveats for the Xbox One version, but mostly this whole review, the whole review as written, applies to the Xbox One version, and it's a great game. And Battlefield 4 thrives on that platform as well as pretty much all the others, you know, with the minor caveats that I mentioned. And of course, you can read Chris's full Battlefield 4 review on GameSpot.com. Chris, thank you very much. My pleasure, Sean.